Hello and welcome back to Dr. Doctor. Today we talk about pneumonia. Pneumonia is a chest infection of the lower respiratory tract. This means that the small air sacs, the alveoli, where the oxygen that we breathe in enters our blood, can become inflamed and filled with fluid and filled with pus. And this can make it hard to breathe and reduce our oxygen intake. A common cold, on the other hand, is what we call an upper respiratory tract infection, as the alveoli are unaffected. Pneumonia is the largest infectious cause of death in children worldwide. Annually, approximately 1 million children under the age of 5 die from this condition. It does also affect adults, and is a large cause of morbidity and mortality especially in the autumn and winter months. Pneumonia can be caused by a wide variety of infectious agents, and this includes bacteria, viruses, and fungi. The common culprits are Streptococcus pneumonia, Haemophilus influenza type B, and respiratory syncytial virus. The transmission of these agents are often via airborne droplets from coughing or sneezing. Pneumonia is often classified by the means in which it is acquired. For example, if you develop this infection whilst at home or whilst out and about, you will be diagnosed with community-acquired pneumonia. If you developed it as a result of being in hospital, you will be diagnosed with hospital-acquired pneumonia. And there are also other diagnoses, such as ventilator-assisted pneumonia, those who are on ventilators to assist their breathing, and also aspiration pneumonia, for those where the infection was a result of food or vomit or other harmful substances entering your lungs accidentally. And these classifications often affect how we treat the disease. So what are the symptoms of pneumonia? Commonly, you will develop a cough, which produces a thick, yellow, green or even brown mucus. You may have some difficulty breathing or feel short of breath or need to breathe faster than normal. You may develop a fever, start shivering or sweating and feel your heart speed up. Elderly people may develop confusion and less commonly you may cough up blood, feel drowsy and develop general muscle aches and pains. If any of the above symptoms are noted, medical attention should be sought and this should be a matter of urgency in young children, the elderly, and those who are immune compromised, or if the symptoms are very severe. Diagnosis can be quite difficult in mild cases, as the symptoms often overlap between upper respiratory tract infections, such as common colds, and lower respiratory tract infections, like pneumonia. Thus, your doctor will need to take a careful history regarding your symptoms, and then examine your chest carefully with a stethoscope. When your lower airways and alveoli are affected, such as in pneumonia, this can be picked up by careful auscultation of the chest with a stethoscope. At this point, a diagnosis can be made, as well as determining the patient's level of risk, based on signs such as confusion, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and also the patient's age. The treatment is then based on this risk score. Everyone with pneumonia is treated with antibiotics. The type of which, how many antibiotics are given, and the length of treatment depend on the severity score. But usually, this treatment, together with rest, can be carried out at home. Those who are very unwell, often children and the elderly, or those suffering with complications such as sepsis, will need hospital admission and further investigations. And this usually involves x-rays, blood tests, blood cultures, and sputum samples, and antibiotics may be given intravenously. Vaccinations can help reduce and prevent certain pathogens from causing pneumonia. Examples are the Hib vaccination and the pneumococcal vaccinations. Many people who suffer with flu can also go on to develop pneumonia and thus flu vaccination is particularly important in susceptible groups. And you can check out my video on flu by clicking the link at the top right. 
In summary, pneumonia is one of the most common infectious diseases worldwide. It can be easily treated if detected early, and thus recognising the symptoms is key in aiding survival. It can cause life-threatening illness, especially in vulnerable groups, and thus vaccination is important in helping reduce the spread of certain pathogens. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you found this useful and want to know more about medicine and healthcare, as there will be new content uploaded regularly. I welcome any feedback or questions in the comment section below.